Hare Krishna. Question from Akshay Gaudevaro. Is surrender to surrendering to God, God's will, fatalism? You said in one of your articles that stop serving God as an advisor. It means we should not uh, tell God what is to be done, but rather we should accept His will. So, but won't this lead to fatalism, accepting that nothing can be changed and just living passively in life? Answer, no, not at all. Surrender is not fatalism because surrender, the very act of surrender includes the understanding, it is based on the understanding that we have free will and by our free will we choose to surrender. So, uh, so, so fatalism means nothing is in our hands. Whereas when we say surrender, surrender to God, that means we are accepting that whether to surrender or not is in our hands. And that itself means we have free will. It is not that we are helpless. So that's the first point. Secondly, when we say surrender to God's will, that does not mean surrender is passive. Surrend Arjuna surrendered to Krishna's will. Krishna said to Arjuna, surrender, surrender, just surrender to me. And Arjuna surrendered. Normally we think of surrender as uh, when two enemies are fighting and one enemy becomes weak, the enemy surrenders, put down the weapon. But what happens to Arjuna at the end of the Bhagavad Gita is he picks up the weapon. Yatra Yogeshwara Krishna, Yatra Partho In 18.78 it says he has picked up his weapon and is ready to fight. So that means uh, this, we, have, we shouldn't apply on devotional surrender the stereotype notion, stereotype notion that we acquired from material movie conceptions of surrender. So here surrender means giving up everything else except serving Krishna. Uh, so in movie surrender just means giving up, ending the fight. But uh, surrender in bhakti, surrender to Krishna means not giving up the fight but uh, but deciding to fight on Krishna's terms, not by our own means. Now bhakti is itself active. So just as Arjuna picked up the bow and fought, he did his duty in a mood of devotional service to Krishna. Similarly, we also do our duty. And we do our duty terminally, enthusiastically. So the point of, uh, being of surrendering is to harmonize ourselves with God's will. It is not to say that we don't have any will. The very act of surrendering means that we have a will and we use our will to do God's will. So, for example, when a patient is sick and patient thinks maybe I'll eat this, maybe I'll do this, maybe I'll do that, nothing works. And the patient finally goes to a competent doctor and says, Karisheva Chinamtava, I will do your will. Whatever you tell me, I'll do, I'll take your treatment. Now the patient is surrendering to the doctor. But is the patient being fatalistic? Oh, no, I sickness is permanent, nothing can be changed. No. The patient is surrendering because the patient is not fatalistic. The patient understands that by surrendering to this doctor, things will, I will become healthy. So similarly, by surrendering to Krishna, we will become happy. Now, while we are living a life of devotional service to Krishna, there are times when our plans may not work. And when things go wrong, you know, there are certain things which can be changed, there are certain things which cannot be changed. As it is said that, oh God, give me the intelligence to change the things which we can change, to tolerate the things which we can't change, and to and give me the intelligence to know the difference between the two. So surrender means to do what we can with what we have now. Surrender does not mean to do nothing. And when we say don't, we say uh, stop serving God as an advisor. What this essentially means is that the things which have not worked out, the things which we don't have, we don't bother too much about that. We don't uh, grieve or complain or uh, about those things. Rather, wh with what we have, now we do it. What we do what we can. So surrender is in that sense the exact opposite of fatalism. Now, fatalism means nothing is in our hands. So surrender first of all means that our own free will is in our hands and by our free will we surrender and then further we also understand and surrender that uh, actually I will serve Krishna, I will do my duty with whatever resources I have and with whatever capacity I have. So surrender in that sense is proactive, it is dynamic. 
we are not letting our our mental energy get dissipated in things that are not there so we are actually optimizing the use of whatever energies we have for doing the best that we can so surrender is a very proactive and dynamic course of action and it has quite the polar opposite of fatalism fatalism means that it's it's based on a erroneous conception of surrender where we think of surrender only as passivity no and then you may say oh nothing is in my hands everything is in my in god's hands no that is not the idea of uh, surrender surrender means anukulya sankalpa pratikulya se varjanam that accept that which is favorable reject that which is unfavorable so we accept that which is favorable that is a choice that again indicates that thing we have the capacity to choose pratikulya se varjanam that we reject that which is unfavorable that also indicate that it's a choice and we have the capacity to choose so surrender is empowering it is not fatalistic at all thank you hare